Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are fine and staying safe and happy. I am your history teacher, Ms. Farheen, and I welcome you all to your history class. My dear students, in today's lesson, you will be able to describe the main impacts of Catholic Church on Western Europe. So, Catholic Church is a very important entity hua karta tha, um, medieval ages. Mein. So, iske Western Europe ke upar kya -kya impacts the? we are going to discuss that today. So, my dear students, I will show you an informative video. This video clip is very informative. Hai. Ye aapko, uh, jo hai downloads in the description box. Mein bhi mil so, quickly uh, pause the videos and have a look all at this uh, video clip. So, let's quickly move forward towards it. The Rise of the Catholic Church After the collapse of the Roman Empire, the bishops of Rome, called popes, struggled to survive the recurring invasions. In the 6th century, they established a mutually beneficial alliance with the Frankish Empire. In return for the spiritual support of the Church, popes received a province around Rome, called the Papal States, and Frankish rulers supported the spread of Christianity in Europe. The establishment of the Roman Catholic religion throughout Western Europe led to an elaborate hierarchy, or system, in which people were organized into different levels of importance. The Pope is the head, who governs the Church in the name of God. He is thought to be infallible and to hold the keys to the Kingdom of Heaven, thus providing him immense power over believers. In each country, there are large church districts called primacies, which are governed by archbishops. Each primacy consists of several bishoprics, run by bishops. Bishops supervise local priests, who are responsible for their parishes. The church officials make up the clergy, whilst the believers are called the laity. In the Middle Ages, the Catholic Church was granted vast lands and large incomes by kings and landlords. These made the church extremely wealthy, so that popes and bishops could afford not only a lavish lifestyle, but mercenaries as well. This resulted in growing papal influence over European societies. By the 11th century, Okay, my dear students, so you have seen how it started uh, start after the fall of medieval, uh, sorry, Roman Empire. So, medieval ages, when the uh, fall of Roman Empire, baad, inko Italy, which is modern Italy, hai, ka Italy hai, wahan par Rome ke karib, jo hai, papal states, ke naam se ek state di gai, aur wahan pe jo hai, ye pura jo hai, uh, Catholic ka, ka Church ka jo nizam hai, wo shuru hua, aur ye hierarchy ki surat mein tha, jisme top of the uh, line jo hai, wo kaun hua karte the, uh, they, those were the, you know, um, head of the yani ke pope which is ko aap sakte hai, aur uske baad jo hai, further unke jo hai, wo, um, different priest monks aur uske baad jo hai, wo local bishops jo hai, wo usme aate the. Aur ye puri hierarchy jo hai, ye kya banti thi? this was known as clergy aur phir inke jo hai, wo followers aate the, jo inko jo hai, wo worship kiya karte the, aur ye kaha jata tha ke inke paas jo hai, wo chabi hai uh, jannat tak pahunchne ki so these were some of the uh, facts or kya kehte hain ki inko jo hai mukhtalif land bhi jo hai wo authorize kiya jata tha king ki taraf se so they were at very prominent position at that time so catholic church jo hai it guided the religious practice and moral standards it provides unity and stability in medieval society the pope had authority over kings and the church owned the land and the courts it influenced the politics crowning kings and punishing defiant rulers uh, the, uh, the faint rulers, the church built significant churches and monasteries, uh, preserved knowledge and educated people. So, these are some of the facts about the Catholic Church at that time. So, my dear students, for further information, you can, uh, or for practice, you can uh, scan the QR code and have access to these skill sheets 1.7 and 1.8. So, a uh, teacher can complete it in the class or you can also give it in the homework. And further, for your homework, you can design an interactive timeline using the digital tools or posters, include multimedia elements such as video, audio clips, and QR codes that provide additional information on specific events and developments during medieval ages. So, this is your little sa jo hai wo, uh, project. Ho gaya. So, my dear students, I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson, in which we have church and Catholics ka kya influence the medieval ages. Ke upar, humne uske mein padha. I hope you have completely understood it. Keep everybody around you safe. Have a good day. Thank you so much. And Allah Hafiz.